My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. Today we're going to discuss client states or satellite states. The fraying relationships between Ukraine and Israel and their ostensible ally, the United States, brought to a sharp relief an age-old conundrum. From time immemorial, small countries acted as clients and satellites of bigger ones. Regional and global superpowers insisted on establishing spheres of influence to protect their citizens and safeguard their interests. Even the nascent United States of America promulgated the Monroe Doctrine to make sure that Europe does not interfere in hemispheric affairs in the Americas. Americas. Client states fulfill several important functions and render services to their he hegemonic patrons. Number one. They engage in proxy wars with proxies of other powers. Number two, they serve as buffer zones for the hinterlands of the regional or superpowers. Number three, they act as testing grounds for new weapon systems, tactics and strategies. Number four, they provide the colonial power, empire or sponsor state with raw materials and cannon fodder, soldiers. Number five, they carry out secret, dirty operations, including in cyberspace, on behalf of the regional or superpower, in order to afford the latter plausible deniability. Number six, they gather intelligence and share it with the hegemonic state. In return, the bigger members of these asymmetrical, asymmetrical alliances guarantee the safety and territorial integrity of their client states, supply weapons and military training, as well as economic loans, and share intelligence. They also intervene diplomatically to shield their client states from the impacts of sanctions and other steps taken by their adversaries. Small polities have always shopped around for protection. Egypt has pivoted from the USA to the USSR in the 1950s and back to the USA in the 1970s, for example. So did Israel, albeit in the, possible di in the opposite direction from the communist east to the capitalistic west. In a multipolar world, the leverage and bargaining power of small countries are increasing, but so does the aggression of regional potentates. We are in, we are in for an unusually turbulent period in human history, as state actors are attempting to settle on a new workable equilibrium.